welcome to another edition of William's Guide to Mathematics. We are starting a new topic, which is an important aspect of mathematics, called latitude and longitude. But for this lesson one, we'll be taking a look at three points. The first thing we look at is we talk about the Earth, the planet Earth. The second thing we'll be looking at is called they are the features of the lines of latitude and longitude. And finally, we'll be discussing about locating positions on the globe. Let us start with the Earth, like I said. The Earth is an irregularly shaped ellipsoid. Again, the Earth is an irregularly shaped ellipsoid. That is to tell us that the Earth does not have a regular shape. But we need a regular shape for our calculation. If we take a look at what this shape of the earth looks like it is close to that of an orange or a ball which we all know to be a sphere so we can take the shape of the earth to be approximately the shape of a sphere so in our calculation as regards latitude and longitude we will take the shape of the earth the globe we take it to be a sphere now, the sphere, from what we know under mensuration, has a radius. The radius of the Earth is approximately 6,360 kilometers to 6,380 kilometers. If I should approximate that to two significant figures, I will get the radius of the Earth as 6,400. So, in our study of latitude and longitude, we will be making use of R, capital R, which represents the radius of the Earth are 6,400. So any calculation we are doing in this lesson will be using our R as 6,400. In some other texts, maybe some other videos, you could see your R as some other values. But the thing is, the values you will use as R will be between 6,360 kilometers to 6,380 kilometers, which you can also approximate to 6,400 kilometers. Finally, under this, we are talking about the position of the Earth. Now, the position of the Earth is represented using lines of latitude and longitude. I don't know if you've experienced something. You want to go to a place where you don't know. You have a present location. We try to use something we call Google Map. In Google Map, we press our present location and we also try to get our destination. Now, how does this work? It works because the Earth has a programmed numbers. These program numbers are for geometric location, like our latitude and our longitude. These numbers are such a way that anytime we input our location where we are, as at the time we want to take off to a journey, that position has a value, it has a geometric car coordinates. The same thing applies to our destination. It has a geometrical coordinate. So this geometrical coordinates between where we are and where we are going to, they are represented using what we call latitude and longitude. Now, let us come we'll come back to that later. Let us talk about what is called an equator and a greenwich meridian. I said we are coming back to latitude and longitude in details. But now, what is an equator? What is a Greenwich Meridian? Now, the equator and the Greenwich Meridian, they are standards. They are special latitude and longitude. You know, we, we, our focus on the topic is actually latitude and longitude. But we have some, some special latitude and longitude. And they are special because they divide the Earth into two equal halves. The equator divides the Earth into two equal halves. The same thing applies to the Greenwich Meridian. But the thing is this, the latitude is for the equator, meaning the equator is for the latitude, while the Greenwich Meridian is for the longitude. So anytime I talk equator, I'm talking about the latitude. Anytime I talk the Greenwich Meridian, it's called the longitude. For the Greenwich Meridian, we are a bit familiar. We must have heard of something called GMT, Greenwich Meridian Time. 
So it is gotten from there. Again, the Greenwich Meridian is for the longitude, while the equator is for the latitude. The two of them, like I said, divides the Earth into two equal halves, and that makes them to the special latitude and special longitude. Now, taking the features of the lines of latitude, before I go further in features of lines of latitude and longitude, let me put it to you that the, both lines are imaginary lines. Imaginary because we can't actually see them, but they are important as far as calculation of position in mathematics is concerned because we need to get distance between a point and the other point. Now, let's start with the first feature. For latitude remember i told you that we have what is called an equator so the latitude is, is relative to the equator that means latitude goes with the equator another feature is that the latitude runs from east to west so anytime we are drawing our latitude we are drawing from the point east to west or west to east so it is a, a, a line that runs from east to west another thing is that the latitude are represented using north or south. So if I have 50 degree north, that is latitude. If I have 35 degree south, that is latitude. If you are representing our lines of latitude, we represent them with north or south. And finally, latitude range from 90 degree north to 90 degree south. I would like to clarify something about the second and the third point again. I said the second point, they run from east to west, but they are represented using north or south, meaning that anytime we want to state a value, we use north or south. But if we want to draw our line, it goes from east to west. I want to believe that is clear. Let us go to the other one, which is features of the lines of longitude. Now, the lines of longitude, they are relative to the Greenwich Meridian. We know we talk about the Greenwich Meridian, that is a special line of longitude. The other thing is that line of longitude they run from north to south line of longitude they run from north to south and the third one is they are represented using east or west they are represented using east or west and finally they range from 180 degrees east to 180 degrees west let me also clarify the second and the third point that longitude line they run from north to south meaning anytime we are drawing lines of longitude we take it from the north to the south but anytime we want to write a value for lines of longitude we state the value using east or west i can have 30 degrees east that is a line of longitude i can have 75 degrees west that is a line of longitude and we take a look at these two values 20 degree north and 70 degrees west 20 degree north is represented using north and north is latitude so that means 20 degree north is a line of latitude why 70 degrees west the key word there is west which is a direction so the west is line of longitude remember from the third point from each of them the representation matters for latitude once again represented using either north or south why for longitude represented using either east or west we look at what is called position on the globe the globe is actually the earth in this case and remember at the beginning i said the earth is considered to be spherical in shape we are taking the earth to be approximately the sphere now this is an aspect of this topic that seems to be unclear to students it has to do with drawing diagrams but it's a very simple thing i will make a case study of what we are familiar with which is cartesian plane what is a cartesian plane cartesian plane is just a form of graph showing two axes usually the x and the y axis so if i have something like a point 
minus 55 and comma 60 minus 55 comma 60 for a point p now the minus 55 is for x y the 60 is for y so my minus 55 if i should plot minus 55 as you can see minus 55 on the graph that is in between 50 and 60 that is minus 55 on the x-axis and if i should plot my 60 my 60 is obvious on the graph 60 now the meeting point of these two represents the point p this is also applicable when you talk about positions on the globe now for position on the globe we need two values what are these two values we've been talking about those two values since they are the latitude and the longitude that means we pick our point of the, lat the line of the latitude we also pick our line of the longitude the meeting point of these two lines is taking us the point on the globe or the position on the globe let me use that same the, the, the two values once again which is 55 and 60 but in this case i need to add either it is north or east or west or south i'll take 60 degree north and i'll take 55 degrees west now if i have 60 degree north 60 degree north is what latitude or longitude remember i said latitude is represented using north longitude using south so 60 degree north is latitude why 55 degrees west is longitude so i will draw my line of latitude 60 degree north remember we said the line drawing it runs from east to west or west to east so i will draw my 60 degree north i will label it on the globe then i will also draw my 55 degrees west that is a line of longitude i will label it on the globe now after drawing these two lines the two of them will intersect at a point you can see the point of intersection that point of intersection is representing the position so if i'm standing on the point of the globe which is 60 degrees north and 55 degrees west it simply means that my present position at that time is the point of intersection of the two lines i mean the line of latitude and the line of longitude you can see the line of latitude that line is the blue line and the line of longitude is the one in red also let me also give you another clue to identify lines of latitude and longitude from latitude is from the word lateral lateral more or less like horizontal why longitude just take the first four letters l-o-n-g which is long so that's why it is always long running from north to south we have the position r in another example 35 degrees south 20 degrees east now 35 degrees south south is for latitude south is for latitude so 35 degrees south i will draw my 35 degree it will be a lateral that is horizontal from east to west you can see the blue line on the globe after drawing the meridian and the equator 35 degrees south is there now now i'll now draw my 20 degrees east 20 degrees east is a line of longitude coming from north to the south but it will be on the eastern part so i will draw my 20 degrees east the two of them they meet at this point so i can label the point r that is just it that is how to draw position on the globe so far so good we've come to the end of this lesson we've talked about the depth we've talked about line features of the lines of latitude and longitude and finally we talked about how to locate position on the globe i have some practice questions for you for you to look at see the boss on the video solve these questions and check the answers you can also